Do you want to know that which was the first product of Microsoft which failed in the market? Would you also like to know that which was the first spreadsheet program of Microsoft? Then please be in this video till the end and you will surely get the answer. Now before I talk about these two queries, first of all I would like to start with a product which was known as VisiCalc. Now what is VisiCalc? The full form of VisiCalc is Visible Calculator. It was created by a company known as VisiCorp. This VisiCorp company was established by two people. One was known as Dan Bricklin and another one was known as Bob Frankston. They created this first spreadsheet program in the world and this was a revolutionary software in those days because before that there were some manual processes which were done by the people for calculating the values so this was a great software which was launched by this company and it became very famous but unfortunately after the product which was known as lotus 123 when it came into the market then visical was not that much uh, popular so this visical was launched in 1979 and then it was out from the market in the mid 1980s after this visical came this IBM uh, software which was known as Lotus 123. It was launched in January 1983. This product was also very very popular. It was there for a long period. Why it is known as Lotus 123? Because there were three major key functions in this Lotus 123. The first one was related to the spreadsheet which was already there in physical. The second one was the charting and graphing. So in this Lotus 123 you could create the charts and graphs and the third one was the database management. So because of these three key functions this Lotus was known as Lotus 123. The company which uh, developed this Lotus 123 and the person who was the main creator his name was Mitch Kapoor and he was part of a company which was known as Lotus Development Corporation. So this software Lotus 123 it became so popular that it made this Lotus Lotus Development Corporation, Fortune 500 companies in those days. But Lotus 123 faced the problem from the Microsoft Excel. Now before I explain you about the Microsoft Excel, I would like to talk about the first spreadsheet program which was launched by Microsoft and it was known as Multiplan. So Multiplan was launched in 1982. This Multiplan was developed on an operating system which was known as CP Oblicam. CP stands for Control Programs and M stands for Microprocessor. So it was based on the operating system which was known as control program for microprocessors and this uh, Lotus 123 which was launched in 1983 so this Lotus 123 was based on the operating system which was known as DOS so because this Microsoft was using the older operating system so that's why it did not pick up this multiplan was a failure it was not a total failure it was a failure from the point of view of the commercial aspect so multiplan had some limitations and that's why it could not pick up in the market. So Microsoft then learned from this failure product that is known as Multiplan and then in 1985 Microsoft launched the Microsoft Excel. So they initially launched for the Apple version in 1985. It became so popular and then in 1987 they launched the Windows version of Excel and the first version of Excel was known as Excel 1.0 and today we know that since 85 or 87 it is still being popular and today Excel is having a market share of around 80 to 85 percentage and the rest market share it belongs to the google sheet so i would say that from this use case we have to learn many things that many times we fail in a particular area but then we should not be demotivated we have to learn from our mistakes and we have to then come out with the flying colors so this was the video about this first product which failed from microsoft environment and also we discuss about the other spreadsheet programs which were there in the 70s and 80s and 90s and now in the next video i'll be discussing about the various references that are available in Microsoft Excel. So we are having three references. One is known as absolute reference. Second one is known as relative reference. And the third one is known as the mixed reference. So please be in this uh, particular playlist. You can also watch some other videos from this playlist on Microsoft Excel. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next video. Thank you very much.